Hello beautiful people, Lingy here. Happy New Year! So being that we are still in January and everything is super cold, I wanted to do a tips video on layering your pieces. Alright, so if you guys are new here, welcome. Go ahead and join the family by hitting that subscribe button and let's get right into the video. Alright lovely people, so tip number one. My first tip is to actually start off with a base. So your base is your top, your bottom, your first piece that you actually put on. My base is usually a pair of tights, a pair of jeans, some slacks, teamed up with either a cropped turtleneck and or a shirt, a blouse, a t-shirt. Something neutral that you can pile on your layers. I currently live in Atlanta, but I am from Philadelphia, so I usually am piling on the layers. So definitely keep in mind that if you're wearing jeans, you could put some tights on underneath. It's not as cold in Atlanta currently, so usually mine just go directly to jeans and or my tights. I don't usually layer up. If I was in Philly around this time, I would usually put on my tights first and then my jeans, or my tights and then my slacks, just to keep that extra layer to keep me warm. My next tip is to layer it up. You can always put a sweater on top of a, a turtleneck. You can always put a another shirt on top of a turtleneck. You can definitely get creative. Even if it's different colors, that is just fine. It adds more to your actual look. My third tip is don't be afraid of summer clothes. Although your shirt or your blouse might be short sleeve, you can always layer it. You can always put a turtleneck underneath and it gives the shirt a different look. Okay, so number four is to mix textures. Whether it be a different color, or whether it be your leathers, your twill, your tweeds, your cottons, they all make a difference. They all add character to your overall look. It always brings a little bit of pow, a punch to your actual outfit. So don't be afraid to mix your textures around. Everything doesn't have to be the same texture everything doesn't have to be wool everything doesn't have to be cotton and with that said don't be afraid to mix prints My fifth tip is to make sure if you peel your layers off because you're dressing for the outside. So if you're peeling layers off, if you're at an event and it starts to get warm, make sure you take that off. Your outfit still makes sense. While you're peeling away, you're not making or breaking your outfit. You wanna make sure that when you take off a layer, like if you take your jacket off, your outfit still says something. Your outfit still has some type of story to tell. So while my coat is off, you still wanna make sure that I am saying something. My outfit is actually still coming together and cohesively creating a look. All right, so for my sixth and final tip, this is centered around my favorite piece of all, especially for the winter. 
I love coats. Your coat is your your glue. Your coat is your polish after your nail polish. It's it's the piece that brings everything together. That's why when I'm thrifting, y'all know I love my coats. Rain, hail, sleet, snow, winter and or spring, I am literally still searching for coats. I love coats because they put the pieces all together. So with that said, you wanna make sure your coat is the final piece, the final bang that 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 brings your look together. Sometimes I dress for my coat, like I dress for my coat down. Sometimes if I have a coat that I want to wear, I'll dress from the coat down, like put it in my head. Okay, if I'm layering, I want this to match this, I want this to match that. Sometimes I may just dress from the shoe down. If I love a shoe and I'm eager to wear it, I would definitely go ahead and dress and put my outfit centered around my shoe. Whether it be color, whether it be heel height, whether it be comfort, whatever have you, it just, if you have a focal point, and usually it's my coats, but sometimes it could be my shoes. If you have a focal point that's in your mind, that that's, that's the, 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 the seal, the deal. <laughs> if that's the seal of the deal, you definitely want to make sure you are creating a story and having that last item be your, your punch, your, be your polish. Your coat is the top coat for your manicure. It is the sealant that seals your actual outfit together. You gotta remember that is the first thing people see. And I love me a coat. <laughs> I love a coat. Don't be afraid to put layer on that outerwear. So let's say you have a modal jacket that cuts right at the hip bone and then you layer it with another peak coat that's, your, that's down to your ankles and your calves. That also adds character to your actual outfit because now you have dimensions. You have different dimensions when it comes to your actual outerwear. So don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of layering your blazers. Don't be afraid of layering your blazer, jacket, coat. It's all right. Tell them Linky told you. <laughs> so yes, I love coats. Don't be afraid of coats. You can always take a coat to the cleaners, go get it clean, and y'all know I'm thrifting all the time. But uh, I think that is it. Those are all my tips for layering for the winter. So you guys stay warm. I think that is all I have to say. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. It is Lingy Was Here. So you can see how I put everything together. I think that is it. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next year. I mean, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys.